Question 9 then from the specimen paper of the advanced tyre. Just four marks for this sequence problem here. Quite a bit to read for these four marks. What does it say? Three terms, not the first three, three terms of an arithmetic sequence, the third, seventh and sixteenth, form the first three terms, that is the first three terms of a geometric sequence, show that A is equal to six-fifths of D, A being the first term and D being the common difference, and hence find the common ratio of the corresponding geometric sequence. Well, if that's the third term, you'll have started with its first term, which would be A, which won't be the same as the A in the geometric one, plus two lots of D. That would be start with A, and add on six lots of the difference by the time you get there, and that would be start with A, and add on 15 lots of the common difference. Do not get some arc. So, if that's the first term of the geometric sequence, that means it would just be whatever letter you use, but I can't use A, because that A couldn't stand for both parts, so I'll just call that alpha. If that is the second term of a geometric sequence, that would be alpha times R. You could just use R. And if that was the third term of a geometric sequence, I could say that was alpha R squared. So dividing these two should provide the same result as dividing these two, which is R. So I'll get R from this, which was the end of the question, really. So I'll get R from this by saying, well, R will be this one divided by that one. That'll be A plus 6D over A plus 2D. Or I could get R from dividing these, which is A plus 15D over A plus 6D. Now, doing that, is worth a mark. Now I just need to cross multiply and start working this all out then, just using this part of the equation. Ah, so I've got a plus 6d times a plus 6d is a plus 15d times a plus 2d. So what's that then? So that's going to be a squared plus, then we've got 6ad doubled is 12ad plus 36d squared. Not liking the look of that, but still. a squared, that's okay. Plus, and this time it's going to be 17ad plus 30d squared. So if I bring it all over to one side, the a's have gone at least in anyway. So you've got, which will I put first? I don't know, maybe I'll put this one first. So 17 take away 12 is 5ad but then it would be, if I'm taking it to this side, minus 6d squared is equal to 0. Take out the d. 5a minus 6d is equal to 0, which means either d is 0, which it isn't, so I'll maybe put that, which means since d can't be 0, that means 5a minus 6d is 0. I was just going to write a down straight away there. But then it had the result, so I should really demonstrate how I got it. So A equals 6 upon 5D. Now, going through all of that was just the one mark. And for the final mark, then, I have to find what R is. So I'll just go back to one of these. So I'll take this one. So A is 6 upon 5D. So I've got 6 upon 5D plus 6D over and A was 6 upon 5D plus 2D. Divide everything by D and the Ds have gone. Multiply everything by 5 and the 5s will go in the denominators. So that's my next line. I'm going to do 5 times each of these. So I've got 6 plus 30 over 6 plus 10. 36 over 16, both divide by 4, 9 upon 4. That's the last mark.